So this question is a simplify question. Any question that's one to three lines long and contains an equation or expression, like what we have here, is going to be considered a simplify question. So how do I simplify this question? First of all, let's read it. It says, which of the following is equivalent to square root 32 times fifth root of 64? And we do have two things here that can be simplified. So I'm going to simplify the root 32 first. So the square root of 32 can be simplified to the square root of 16 times the square root of 2, which can be simplified to 4 square root 2. The fifth root of 64 can be simplified to the fifth root of 2 to the fifth. 2 to the fifth power is 32, by the way, multiplied by the fifth root of 2, which gives me 2 fifth root 2, right? Because the root and the radical cross out here, leaving you just with 2 here. Um, so what am I left with? I have all together 4 square root 2 times 2 fifth root 2. So can I simplify this further? I definitely can. I can multiply that 4 by the 2. So I have 8 square root 2, fifth root 2. And then I need to figure out how do I simplify these guys. So I am going to actually convert them into exponent form and call this 8 times 2 to the 1 half times 2 to the 1 fifth. I know that whenever I have the same base and I'm multiplying, I can add the exponents. So this becomes 8 times 2 to the 1 half plus 1 fifth. In order to add fractions, I have to have a common denominator. So this becomes 8 times 2 to the 5 tenths plus 2 tenths, right? Making 10 my common denominator there, which becomes 8 times 2 to the 7 tenths. And again, then looking back at my answer choices and seeing that everything's in radical form, uh, 2 to the 7 tenths power, this becomes 8, is the same as the 7th root, or I'm sorry, the 10th root. I'm saying that incorrectly while I'm reading it properly. This is actually 8 times the 10th root of 2 to the 7th. And that answer is right here, choice D.